Inanunsyo ni Pamulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. sa isang bilateral meeting sa Malacanang kahapon, October 7, kasama si South Korean President Yoon suk yeol ang pinalakas na strategic partnership ng Pilipinas at South Korea. Sumasaklaw sa iba't ibang larangan ang paglawak ng relasyon ng dalawang bansa tulad ng politika, depensa at ekonomiya. Tinalakay din ni Pangulong Marcos ang mga issues sa West Philippine Sea at sa Korean Peninsula. Inanunsyo naman ni Pangulong Yoon ang suporta ng South Korea sa modernisasyon ng sandatahang lakas ng Pilipinas. Sinasabing aktibong makikilahok ang Korea sa Rehorizon 3 phase ng modernisasyon ng AFP. Nilagdaan ang iba pang kasunduan sa pagitan ng Pilipinas at South Korea Kabilang dito ang Memorandum of Understanding sa Economic Innovation Partnership Program, Strategic Cooperation sa Critical Raw Material Supply Chains at iba pang proyekto na nakatuon sa pagpapaunlad ng kanilang ugnayan at kooperasyon. Our decades of cordial relations have developed into a comprehensive partnership that spans political, defense, economic, social, cultural, maritime, and many other fields across various levels of engagement. And today, I am pleased to announce that the Philippines and the Republic of Korea have formally elevated our relations to a strategic partnership, adding further impetus to the strengthening and deepening of our cooperation in an increasingly complex geopolitical and economic environment. Philippines, 75 75 years ago, the Philippines became the first nation in Southeast Asia to establish diplomatic relations with the Republic of Korea. During the Korean War, the Philippines deployed the largest contingent of troops among Asian nations in defense of Republic of Korea, for which the Korean people remain deeply grateful as a true friendship. Our two countries concurred to strengthen strategic partnership in the security front. We agreed to enhance our cooperation in defense industry. In particular, Korea will actively take part in the Rehorizon 3 phase of the modernization of the AFP.